Nancy West, The Innkeepers, The House of the Devil, knows how to do throwback horror. The House of the Devil, for example, takes us back to a 1980s babysitting job with a catch, and it absolutely lands that classic retro vibe. West takes another journey into the past with his new outing X, which this time takes us back to a late 1970s porn shoot gone horribly wrong. It's a funny, scary, sexy dive into the horror vibes of yore, but with whip-smart modern sensibilities and grade A cinematography. To say the film lens is to put it mildly, it's an exceptional horror entry that shows West at the peak of his filmmaking powers. How do you make top-tier pornography in the late 1970s? Easy, you shoot on location with a crew that has artistic dreams. Wayne, Martin Henderson, books a stay in the heart of Texas to shoot a new adult film with a cast of young, sex-positive stars, the starry-eyed Maxine, Mia Goth, seasoned performer Bobby Lynn, Brittany Snow, ex-soldier Jackson, Kit Cuddy, and DPRJ, Owen Campbell, and his girlfriend Lorraine, Jen. There are a couple catches. First, the elderly couple that owns the place they're staying at doesn't know a whole crew of people will be staying with them. Second, the couple certainly doesn't know they're going to provide the location for a new pornographic work. Third, said elderly couple has some weird, weird baggage. Let's just leave it at that. And it's a horror film, so shooting the picture there turns out to be, surprise, a bad plan. Every single performer lands. Britney Snow exudes intelligence and sex appeal. Mia Goth's Maxine is complex, observant, and mysterious. Jenna Ortega's Lorraine has perhaps the film's biggest character arc and she lands it beat by beat. Kit Cuddy's Jackson is loaded with charisma, Owen Campbell's RJ nails the film's strongest emotional moments, and Martin Henderson pulls it all together as the trustworthy, though a little odd, pornographer with big goals. As a story, X can be summarized with three S's, smart, sexy, scary. It really lands, and does not shy away from, the old-school eroticism of classic adult films and their stars and manages to subvert our expectations around what a porn-centered horror film will do with that material. For a genre so notoriously fused with sex and nudity, a lot of classic horror is implicitly anti-sex. If a character gets naked or has sex, they often die, and violently, at that. Sure, porn stars are horror movie victims here, but the way the themes and plot threads are handled one doesn't get the feeling that they're being punished for supposed transgressions.